Okay. So, I spoke to the owner. Uh, by the way, if you're just uh, following this series, uh, this is vlog number 10. Checking my software here. <laughs> and this series is designed uh, to accomplish several things. One, the main thing uh, is to allow the owner to follow along uh, to see how the house will be built and um, obviously laid out the way he wants it to be and uh, secondly to share a sketch up with people and um, you know uh, sketch up is really cool they have a free browser version you just search uh, sketch up free and uh, you can use it online you don't even have to download it so I, thought, I think that's really cool this version is SketchUp Pro, so you'll see all these, the way I've got my toolbars is set up the way I draw. Uh, the, sketch, the free version has a lot of, uh, it's not this convoluted. <laughs> uh, it has a few pop-outs as you select tools, uh, but it, if you get, when you get used to it, it's easy to use. So anyway, uh, one thing, um, I'm in the habit of checking my live stream because so I've had a few problems with the live streaming and so I will check it periodically this way to see if we're I've had trouble um, in the past where uh, the, the video part of it will freeze but it'll still continue to record my cursor and the audio which is annoying for everybody <laughs> let's see Oi, already got a comment. Oi, I guess that's, is that Australian? <laughs> anyway, I talked with the owner yesterday, and he wants to do away with this uh, dormer here because once we put the carport on, it kind of gets, you know, the view kind of gets blocked, and it'll save him a decent amount of money. <clears throat> so I thought I would start by fixing the roof, and I've already kind of save the old drawing in case he changes his mind and locks it I can go back to that but I think I actually so I've got the whole roof as a group but I think I also have this no I didn't but it's okay I can delete I'll just hold my control key down and I think I can just do this because I can drag my mouse and select stuff because I have this in a group but I'm not going to be selecting things that are outside the group so I got rid of the rafters on the dormer now I'm gonna get rid of uh, this beam that supported and if you I think I drew this in a previous um, video but you see when you frame these roof these dormers that don't have walls to support them like these these side walls let me go out of the um, go out of this group for a minute and, bring, and undo the deletion um, when you have a ridge like this on a dormer or, um, and it's unsupported by anything else you have to basically pick out the two the rafters that are on either side of the dormer and double them and then run this uh, makeshift not makeshift but a couple of two by tens is really all it takes or whatever your rafters are and that gives you a place to terminate your ridge so that'll butt into that and that will support the ridge and the valley you see these valley rafters coming down through here and that supports that so otherwise if you were in the standing in the room with the lady that's in there I put her in there to show scale of how big the dormer was uh, there would be nothing to support this you can imagine if I took this out you, you can already see and these and if these rafters just continued down this would tend to sag uh, you could frame it that way like you could just let these uh, but there's really really the only way you can get by with the valley rafter like that is when the valley rafter goes all the way up let's find one 
Uh, well, here's a hip rafter. You can see this hip rafter goes all the way up to the ridge and comes down and sits on this part that is supported by the other roof. So you see that hip rafter, which it could be if it was inverted. Well, here's a valley rafter right here, duh. This valley rafter comes down and sits on this wall and then it goes up and, and it's connected to the ridge. So you can see, if I get this in the right view, you can see that's kind of a structural member. The valley is because all of these uh, valley rafters are attached to it and hanging off of it, basically. There's nothing else supporting it. So it's the same thing here on the smaller dormer. You wouldn't have anything supporting this valley. Anyway, enough construction talk. What we'll do is we'll delete all this stuff. And what I can do is I'll create, I have the rafters as, as components. And I'm more of a, to be honest with you, I'm more of a construction guy than a, than a SketchUp guy. So a lot of people will say, why, you know, why are you so slow <laughs> with SketchUp? Um, checking the comments here. I got my phone uh, on the live link. But, um, Mainly I'm a construction guy. I've always uh, worked in architecture for 10 years and that's when I learned. I, used, I learned to use AutoCAD when it first came out, uh, I think in 1982. Uh, uh, my, my, my drafting teacher got a copy of the student version. Since he was a teacher, he had a copy of the first version of AutoCAD. It was like on 12 floppy disks. And I'm gonna delete this wall. I don't know why I didn't make that a group. Well, I can do it this way. So what we're actually doing is just we're going to delete this entire uh, scheme here, where the where these second floor walls. And I was kind of hoping the dog would not cry the whole time. Wife. Uh, the dog loves to play and if Daisy can't play she gets upset poor dog um, but so what I'll do is this little knee wall then will continue so what I'll do I'm going to do is just close that off because if I close that off I can delete this little oops now see, I thought that was a group. So that means I need to undo that. I got my CAD standards are such a huge thing. Um, layers, your layer management, your, you know, in SketchUp, you always want to draw things in layer zero and then make groups and then put your groups in layers. You don't want to draw um, line work in different layers and um, I'm going to get rid of these other rafters let's see which one's on my layout I can tell which one oops I'm zooming in and out too fast okay it's that one I want to get rid of the one that's dang it did I make that up Okay, then I'll go over here and get rid of this other double that's not on the layout. Is that right? Because I want to keep my rafters on the layout. And so, uh, you would think it would be easy to get rid of a dormer, wouldn't you? So now I'm going to go out of that group. I've got my rafters in a group. Uh, in case I have to like raise the roof up or down, I can just select. I can select the whole roof and just you know, raise it up or down, which is a distinct possibility. I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> i got my second floor walls as uh, a group and 
So now I can put myself in this room and go in here and fix this. These walls are designed, once I, once I bring this over, that'll close back up. Once I bring this to here. Uh, I'm supposed to. These second floor walls, these five foot uh, walls are designed to be uh, in real estate. They count the square footage in an attic wherever the wall is five feet or taller. So what I did for the owner was say, let me turn the, the roof, the rafters off for a second. Roof framing, where's that layer? There it is. So you can see these uh, knee walls, I can get rid of that line now. Uh, anywhere, so you can imagine this zone between here and there is like 24 feet two or something and this is like 29 feet. All that square footage in there he can count as, you know, if it's heated and cooled as square footage of the house. All this space over here is just considered attic space. So when you go to buy a house and it says it's, you know, 2,300 square feet, it's not counting all the little bonus. That's why they call these little bonus spaces uh, on the sides. Now you can make those, you can make those walls any height you want. You could make them four feet and, and move them over, but at some point they become too low because of your furniture. Even a, even a couch is you know like three feet tall. So uh, making them a, a useful height is uh, a useful. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is he wants to keep this bump out and. Check our live feed. He wants to keep this bump out here. So what we'll do, and we want to have an overhang over that. Uh, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to do away with these the rafters, and I can just select all those. I tend not to do that thing where I select a lot of stuff at one time. Because I've noticed that sometimes uh, if you don't have your groups right or your layers right, you'll select something like in the background behind down here somewhere and you'll delete it without knowing it. And I've done that before <laughs> and come back and to have found that something was gone. I'm like, I'm like what happened? So what I'm going to do is copy this rafter over 16 inches and I'm going to use it as a base for my next... Uh, For my the rafter that's going to hang over so um, what I'm going to do is decide you have to to get out of a group that you're editing you have to click outside of it that's why I keep backing out but I think what I'm going to do is turn off the second floor for a second and I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest that the contractor um, and I, I do I draw things and design things as if I'm the contractor. I am a contractor, so I, I design it as if I am the builder. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this rafter a unique a component, so it doesn't affect these others. And I'm going to put myself a reference line. And I'm just going to run this tail down here to where this point. I can't do that, can I? How am I going to do that? I want to, I want to bring this down. I know what I need. I should have put my. I should have put my reference point right there. Then what I could have done was run this up. Right there, perfect. Okay, so now, now I can grab the wall and lower it. I'm going outside of that group, see? Now I want the group the walls are in. So I'm gonna double click on the walls and I'm gonna lower the, oops, I forgot. I gotta lower, 
I'm going to leave those walls where they are. So what I need to do is put a line here. Actually, how am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? For now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower until I, oops, until I figure out exactly how I want to do this. That little maroon line is the one I want, so I'm going to hold my shift key to hold the axis because this this is going off at a 45 degree angle, so I don't have my automatic axis necessarily. So now I can I can take my push pull tool and pull that down to where that is that wall would be built six and three quarters down and I'll worry about how to deal let's see I'll worry about how to deal with the with that this wall would just be what would happen is your floor would actually be built if I turn it back on the floor would be would be built back and this is one reason why I haven't done the details on the floor framing yet is I want to get on my walls you would basically um, just go back to here like that and you'd have two you'd actually have two uh, seat cuts you know birds mouths you would have as a matter of fact I should have uh, I'll have one let's see Make sure I grab it. I'll have one there and I need my reference line again. What that, that construction line allows me just to follow that up. Let's see. Yeah. I know what's going on now because um, there we go and then I can take my push pull tool and that'll be like a secondary bird's mouth or seat cut seat cut now that'll that's kind of odd but it's only for you know six or eight rafters oopsie now here's where I've had trouble before if you see that that black screen I've learned that um, to check my live feed after that black screen because that's where my troubles are I'll, uh, sometimes the video will get frozen up and I don't know what's doing that if anybody is an expert on OBS open broadcaster um, software and they can help me out trying to de debug that but now I'm just going to fill this in I'm going to copy this one two three four five six seven times so I'll just pick a point as a reference copy that and then say times asterisk seven oh, voila now those rafters are a component now so if I go in here and I change one of them, if I say, well, when I get ready to do the soffit, I'll be, you know, coming down here somewhere and, and leveling that off, you know, then I'll be chopping off. And you see how all of them uh, work. But for now, I'm just going to leave it alone until I get ready to detail it. Now, let me check my live feed again because I have had troubles nobody knows the troubles I see so you see now we have a clean I'll be putting the windows in here sometime and then I'll just have to figure out um, the best way to really this is no big deal because what will happen is
they'll just build a little ceiling over Well, I should have left those lines there, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have left those two lines there because what I can do is grab this bottom line and bring it out to sort of, um, for now, mimic the ceiling extending. Oops. So I meant to just grab this one. Hmm. Now, let me try grabbing the bottom. Well, that's odd. Is that in two different lines? The whole thing should have come out. That's odd. Anyway, that's that's not that's not uh, this block here is just mimicking or is like a placeholder. If I turn the roof framing off, this thing right here is just a placeholder for floor the floor slab. Uh, I'll go in and detail this once I get the schematic design phase done. And he's happy with everything because you see if I had detailed out that floor already then I would have to go in and change it so now we're just working on um, sort of schematic kind of stuff and it just occurred to me I need to add I need to take I need to take this raptor and delete it and add one more. But that one would be like the house line. So it would go at the corner like that. And then if that's close to 16 inches, what I'll do is I'll have a little uh, barge raptor that'll hang over here but I'll have to have another one to stay to keep my layout right I'll have to have another one over here that's flush like that and you might think that's odd but when you're running your decking you want to keep your layout on 16 inch centers so every now and then you might have a little extra one but what in my look that would be right where the uh, 8 foot you know for the decking land so you just add extra ones to fill in you know this where this house line rafter would go so that's that now what I have to do is let me check my make sure my live feed is still going sorry I'm having to check that so much but I've been burned so much by it I, I've learned to check it often so the next thing I have to do is this uh, this little carport was just produced by a uh, a little uh, extension I have it's called instant roof but I only use it for uh, schematic type stuff so that I don't have to spend a lot of time but when I get the owner kind of happy with the concept then I go delete it <laughs> I know that sounds funny but it's because um, I like to start with a fresh palette when I'm doing detail work and now I'm going to start with a fresh um, because these timber rafter or these timber trusses I didn't like let me undelete that for a second I don't like the way these timber trusses um, work but I don't like the way they did that I guess this would could be raised up and it probably was supposed to be raised up yeah but I guess the point is it's just it's too more it's too much work to go back and fix it so after the uh, 
dang it, there's another black screen. So, uh, one of these black screens is going to cause me to have to restart.